what's up you guys welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video so today i will be sharing a crock pot recipe like you guys know all my kids are in school and i feel like during the week it's always hectic and i feel like this is a good simple easy meal for us mothers especially if you're on a go even, not even just moms if you're on a go and you want to throw something in the crock pot and let it soak cook all day simply easy easy meal the only thing I will be doing differently from this recipe is I will be cooking the chicken on both sides on the stove kind of to speed up the slow cooking process and plus I want to get a little bit of that browning on the chicken yeah I know what I'm talking about so I'm gonna do that but I'm gonna show you everything that's going to be in the crock pot like I said, everything will be down below for y'all. So y'all can go and try this recipe. Let me know what y'all think. All right, so this recipe calls for chicken thighs. You got your red potatoes, basil, oregano leaves, some organic crushed red pepper flakes. Um, I have honey in there, but I ended up getting another one, not realizing it came with a small one. You need your soy sauce, ketchup. Uh, this is just extra seasonings that I might add in. I don't know about the lemon pepper, but we'll see. Then you need your green beans and your parsley and of course your carrots. Just text I know it's a toss oh, but I hate the fact that we lost such a the Uber pulling up on call. Tell me as you try. All right, you guys, so this part is optional, but I went ahead and seasoned my chicken. It did say you didn't have to, but I wanted to add a little bit of seasoning, and I added a lot of Mrs. Dash seasoning just so I can cook it on the stove before into putting it in the crock pot. You do not have to cook it on the stove first. I just chose to throw mine on the stove and get that nice brown chicken before throwing it into the crock pot. But if you so I'm going to use the same large bowl that I used to mix the seasonings with the chicken in. I'm not going to rinse it out. I'm going to keep that same seasoning. You're going to combine soy sauce, honey, ketchup, garlic, basil, oregano, red flake pepper, and of course your regular pepper into the bowl. And then you're going to mix it. Tell me as you're trying to fall. Like I said, this part is optional. I'm gonna go ahead and put the chicken in the skillet and let it cook for three minutes on each side just so it can get a nice golden brown to it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put them in the crock pot. I could not fit all of the chicken in here, so I cooked a few at a time as well.
Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and add my chicken to the crock pot just because I'm gonna cook it on low heat for four hours. Don't fall into the hand. Okay, so after placing the chicken thighs into the crock pot, you're going to add the potatoes, carrots, and soy sauce mixture into your eight quart slow cooker. You're going to cover and cook on low for either seven to eight hours or on high for three to four hours. Because I want dinner done when my kids get home from school and the twins finish therapy, I'm gonna cook it on three to four hours, especially since I already cooked the chicken a little bit on the stove as well. Also make sure you're moving the chicken around every hour so you can make sure you get everything cooked all the way through and everything nice and juicy and tender. Okay, so this step is optional. Preheat oven to broil. Place chicken thighs onto a baking sheet, skin side up, and broil until crisp. This usually takes about three to four minutes. Depending on your stove, I put mine on low, so it took about three minutes. And this is the last 30 minutes. You're gonna go ahead and add your freshly cut green beans into the crock pot and let them cook. After that, serve chicken immediately, guys, immediately with potatoes, carrots, green beans, and you can put your garnish on top if you desire. But I hope you guys enjoyed this meal. My kids enjoyed it. Comment down below if you guys end up trying this crock pot recipe. Let me know if this is something you've already tried. But I will see you guys in our next cooking video. Bye, y'all. You could be my lifeline, you could be my sunshine In a world so full of pain Can you make it go away? It used to be so sad that love was lost But now it's here to stay Yeah, I used to be uncomfortable But look at you today Now give me more jeans I you someone to show the way Now I know you're the answer to my prayer Sorry for
feel the burden, sorry I was hurting But my scars are almost healed Yeah, my scars are almost healed Yeah I'm feeling like a child now, everything's alright now And it's all because of you You made the flower